Welcome back to Chaos RC. Today I'm going to give the Creighton 4S a run. I'm really starting to enjoy this a lot more lately. Um, the only upgrade I've done is put these on the back. I had them laying around. A bit better than the uh, stock ones, more sturdier. And um, otherwise nothing else has been done to it. Drive shaft in there looks like it's going to go today. But I've got a spare in my toolbox. So we'll give that a run. Give it a bit of a bash. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, there's some nasty rocks laying around the track today. Yeah, if you're looking at buying a crate and, and your budget is a bit thin, this is definitely... Definitely the way to go. Suspension feels really good. Yeah, it just goes good, this car. Yeah, nice and dialed in. And it just handles wicked. Except when I'm driving it. Yeah, that drive shaft might go, I think. That's what happens when you get rocks caught in the in the middle there. They rub against it, they get caught, trapped. And it starts eating away at the drive shaft. So definitely carry spares of them in your toolbox, guys. Back flips with ease. I should have brought my GPS. I'd love to know what this is actually clocking. Look how mean that looks. Yeah, Creighton's wicked. I do have the Outcast 4S as well, and when I first ran them, that was my favourite. But this is, yeah, this is definitely my pick now. Definitely love love the way this drives and handles. And as I've said in the past, I do prefer center diffs, but for a slipper, this does a really good job. Definitely got a lot of power for 4S. It's just... Oh, you wouldn't need much more than this, especially on a track like this. 4S. Yes, it's just wicked. Love kicking up the dust.
surprised the centre drive shaft's still holding up. It's good. Just hand, handles track work like this just perfectly. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and it lands beautiful. Alright, I'll leave it there. Just a quick thrash on that. Definitely get yourself one of these if you're looking at Creighton's, guys. Thanks for watching.